Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. My name's Tentastash. I'm your host, and I'm here with my co-host, Saya. Hello, hello, everyone. And today's special guest, Irma, are you going to say hi? Oh, what's up? Yeah, okay, that's okay. <laughs> and welcome to you Behind the Streams. You no. <laughs> I did. Am yeah. I? Am I? Are we having? Am I having audio issues? That was the first was, time. It was there was okay. for the one second that you said something. Okay. Um. So <laughs> awkward silence. Engage. <laughs> uh. Welcome to Behind the Streams, everybody. Uh. Matu and Irma, thank you for coming and joining us today. Um. Thanks I know it's probably us. early for you, Matu. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Oh, goodness. Uh, where are you located? Like, uh, First I'm question. Estonia. Northern Europe. Northern, Northern Europe. Europe? Estonia. Irma, Estonia. Irma, where are you located? Florida. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, how does that work? Florida. I got doxxed. Uh, <laughs> you know, love, love has a way. Love has a way. Love. Oh, no! <laughs> Love knows no bounds. <laughs> so, <laughs> is that how you two became friends? Just through VR chat and just suddenly, hey, let's uh, let's just be together forever. Uh, we met on Chatterbait, but when he started playing VR chat again. Better love story than Twilight, at least. Uh, Do you actually want to hear this story? Of how yeah. we did? Yes. Yeah. Go ahead, Matthew. Okay, um, so I started playing the game in early January when I got my VR headset. And mm-hmm. me and a few of my friends had an idea. Hey, let's throw a tennis show. So that was, that was ideas were from Team 5 when they did theirs. But we, I wanted to make it better because theirs didn't last. It was bad. <laughs> so so I, tried, I tried to gather talent, go to Pug, see who sang stuff like that and i met him the day before we did our first tennis show on the 17th of january i believe so i asked him to be in there and ever since that first time he's always been there and last saturday we did our 26th tennis show so it's still going and he's one of the Two people that I have in my friends list that have been there from the beginning. Wow. Wow. Holy moly. Yeah. In so, VR chat terms, we're like we're like almost getting ready to retire now. <laughs> <laughs> like almost seven months. Wow. Is that is that how long VR chat fame starts and ends? <laughs> yeah. Probably the longest yeah. talent show. <laughs> uh, so Irma, how did you end up meeting Matu? Let's hear your side of the story. Yeah, I, I just I was brand new to the game, and I was just jamming out on my guitar. I'm one of those guys, one of those annoying people. Just oh, plays you're one of the them. Partner. Yeah, I know. I'm aware of it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he was just kind of roaming around public lobbies looking for um, talent is probably what he was doing. And he invited me to the show um, the next day. And uh, I was nervous as hell. But uh, yeah, I, I uh, we weren't. We, I don't think we hit it off right away. I don't think we were best friends right off the bat. Just kind of acquaintances for maybe a month or two. Yeah, you were but, just uh, similar to me. Wow, just a bunch of you were just a talent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no! But yeah, I think for the past maybe two or three months we've been uh, best friends. So okay, well that's good. It's been a journey. Um, what got it? You started streaming. What made you want to stream, Matu? Um, I think that's not very common, but for me, it was just for the fact that it's recorded everything, and you you always get those funny moments that you're like, oh, oh shit, I I should have recorded this. And that was that was the that's whole thing. It. I, I wanted to that was it. The, yeah, the few funny moments that happened during each night. I, I didn't I didn't give attention to the chat or anything. I didn't have the viewers viewer count up. I didn't interact with chat. I didn't do anything. I just hit record and just left it. And that was a solid okay. first month. And then I started getting recognition from Foxy uh, and OMG Games. 
where they started uploading some of the clips that I got. And that's where I started taking, like, people started, some of the people started watching the stream. So I, I was like, I was super, some people wanted to do that. And it was, yeah, I've been streaming for two and a half months now. And for the first month, after the first month, I actually got chat up and started interacting with them. So and now you're at 600. <laughs> yeah. Dang. But it's been slowing down a lot lately because for some reason, VR chat doesn't bring in the viewers that it used to. I guess people are tired of it for some reason. Well, I mean, it's the internet. Fame only lasts like five minutes. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, I'm, I'm still, I'm still doing it for the clips first. Pardon me? Yeah. Part of me still wants to, because when I stream, um, it feels more interactive in a way, less less boring, because there's always someone there to to talk to or someone talks back at me. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. that's that's a good little thing about streaming. Okay, now, um, what? What hobbies do you do both y'all have besides streaming and obviously Irma besides the guitar because you already told us that. What hobbies do y'all have besides this? Go ahead, Irma. Uh, me first. Mm -hmm. Ah, jeez. <clears throat> it's like an old dinosaur. Um, I I'm so busy with work and sleep and stuff that I don't do much. <laughs> like if I have free time, <laughs> I'm usually hanging out with Matu on the computer, but. Yeah, I, I play paintball. On the computer? It's 2006. Uh, I like fishing. <laughs> I'm making myself sound really fun right now. <laughs> Dude, I, I love doing all that stuff. Fantastic. Yeah, but I spend a lot of time on guitar and on the computer. What about you, Matu? Hold on. So, so that's why when we were in the fishing world, you were so happy? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And naming all the Busted. fish. Yeah, he, he named all the fish, and I said, "How do you know the names?" He's like, "I, do I, I watched that stream." <laughs> That's right. That was before our golfing uh, situation. Yeah. So, um, what? Uh, um, do y'all have any pets that y'all have? Because y'all's streams are normally very quiet in the background. And those that have pets, sometimes you can hear them. I used to have hamsters. They don't make that much noise, but they died. Oh. Uh, did you just tell the this podcast got about dark. dead hamsters? <laughs> yes, yeah. he did. This he got just dark. Killed, he killed the upbeat attitude. Attitude, why'd pets. you kill my mood? No pets. <laughs> no. Okay, so we have we have the the guy that had two pets die, and the other one just like I don't have pets. I used to have like fish too. Fish was the worst one. It's so boring. He had to get rid of it because it was too loud during the stream. Yeah. <laughs> the fish was too loud during the stream. <laughs> it was oh goldfish. my goodness. Couldn't shut up. Just kept talking and talking. Wow. <laughs> um, so how did you come up with the name Matu? That's my actual nickname from this is what my mom would call me, what my uh what what the people in school would call me. Because my actual name is Martin. Why would they... So Matu is short for Martin. And that's so I just use it everywhere. What? What? That doesn't mean how? How is Matu short for Martin? Uh, that's uh, an Estonian thing. Yeah, it's oh. from Estonia. I wouldn't question it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just like I, that doesn't make sense to me. Like here in America, Marty and Martin are pretty much two of the same things, but Matu never heard of it. It's also uh, short for uh, Matthias, but some people think that my name is Matthias, thanks to that. Uh, what? But this is more of a Swedish thing, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Matthias. From Irma, how Sweden. did you come up with? How did you come up with your name, Irma? Uh, I'm old. It's an old meme. No, I. It was um, Hurricane Irma came through um, Florida. Was it September? November? I don't remember. Um, so I think it was September because I was celebrating my my twenty fifth birthday at, or twenty four. Yeah, yeah. One of those. Yeah, happy it, birthday, uh, by the way. <laughs> my birthday is September. 
<laughs> it was, my birthday's um, in September. I, I hate hurricanes, uh, and I own my own place, so it's one of those um, diaper packing moments where you're not sure if you're going to lose everything you own and where where the hurricane's going to hit. And um, mm-hmm. I remember watching the news the, the day before, and they flashed to someone's garage where they spray painted Irma Gerd on the front of their garage because the hurricane's name was Irma. And I, th- I thought it was just, <laughs> it was like it just took oh, a, a weight no. off my chest. It, it was um, yeah, it kind of stuck with me. So that was. I, <laughs> September and I started playing in January, but uh, that's just kind of what came to mind. So I remember so it was spelled her. differently, but that's that's kind of how I ended up where I'm at. Irma Gerd, <laughs> that's awesome. Irma Gerd. Uh, okay, because we have a lot of female people ask, uh, female female audience members usually ask if people if our male streamers are in relationships. So. Are you two <laughs> currently seeing somebody? Are you seeing each other? <laughs> I, I knew that was going to come up. Well, uh, we're not. We're not. We're not technically in a relationship with each other. No, to answer that question, uh, I said technically to keep you guys guessing. Uh, a little spice uh, conversation. Uh, <laughs> Okay. I, I, I would consider myself single. Yeah. Oh. He's my yeah. uh, <laughs> my little VR boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> See, so Irma denies. Matsu just says, "Yeah, we're together, <laughs> but oh, I'm single." Here comes the drum. <laughs> <laughs> Matsu's like, "I'm single." Irma's like, "Yeah, no, we're together." <laughs> <laughs> Not on Facebook. It's not Facebook official. It doesn't count. Yeah, that was. Um, I think that that died when in the like 2015 Irma. Oh yeah, this the same year Irma Gerd died. I gotcha. No, I'm I'm full of the dead, <laughs> dead meme. Uh, so, um, how old are you two? I'm 23. I'm uh, 26. <laughs> What are you okay. laughing at? <laughs> just just the, the the age difference and the relationship status. <laughs> are you sure you two are not together? <laughs> All right, you caught it. Uh, but, <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, you can go on the bottom one. <laughs> oh, oh, my. oh my! PG thirteen. Oh PG thirteen. After show, it doesn't <laughs> care, but this time. Uh, so, um, what are y'all's future? What Matu? What is your future plans for your streams? Where do you want to see them go? After, like, say, VR chat ends up finally dying off, or do you, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Um, I've been actually having a lot of fun streaming. I streamed Beat Saber once now, or twice, and I had I had a great time. Surprisingly, I'll, more people came to watch that instead of VR chat. And I streamed Portal 2 a few days ago. And again, surprisingly, got kept more viewers around than than the usual VR chat session. So I was Does Irma join you in these events? No. <laughs> no. He's lazy ass. He doesn't do um, it. He's about the real reason. VR Hello? <laughs> I have a job. I have responsibilities. Oh, oh doing he, growing he up. that crap when I'm sleeping because I'm working the next morning. <laughs> yeah, growing up things are boring. Lazy. Look at me, look at me. Oh, no, growing up. Now all seven so, of my followers are going to unsubscribe, unfollow. <laughs> Feels bad. Irma, you're talking about your career. You have a career outside of this. Um, so the question for both of y'all, do y'all have jobs? And if so, what? if you don't mind telling us, what are they? Go ahead. Uh, why, why do you got to start with me? Oh, all right. Uh, I'm, nice I'm a network engineer. I work with fiber optic networks. Ooh. You mind coming out to my neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> I came out years ago. That's a joke. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, Matu, what about you? I still go to uh, university. I'm supposed to finish next spring, but I'm going to move to Hungary, Budapest, in a week, and start my 
full-time internship as a finance manager. So wow. that's the thing that I'll be doing. Yeah, less 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 I'm time. Make money. Yeah. Um. So, what originally brought y'all into VR chat? Um, that's a great question. That is. Great. I want to hear Matu's answer. I'm excited to hear this now. I've never asked that question. Go for it, buddy. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think the um, the first time I saw something about VR chat was when Chips was uh, performing, and I saw that from Reddit that, as a clip of like someone like spectacular, or amazing singer in VR chat, and I was like, "Huh, that's cool." Hmm. And that kept me interested enough to start watching Nags and Pope and True Noom. I started watching them in December. So eventually that got me so hooked to the game that I ordered my own Rift. And after that game, I installed VRChat myself. Okay. And that, yeah, that, that was when I unsubscribed from everyone because it playing VR chat and like trying to watch other people play VR chat just didn't have enough hours in, during the day to do that. <laughs> you just didn't have enough time to watch and do the same yeah. thing? Like, uh... the, the, was the honeymoon period? You play like 10, 12 hours every day. That's like, <laughs> um, that's like amazing. Wow, that's the future, boys. Look, I can see my hands. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Sarah, what about you? Yeah. <clears throat> did I mention this is a good question? Um, yes, you did. I I don't know. I think it was um, a desire for friendship. Um, I obviously do have friends locally. Coworkers invite me out all the time. But there's, um, <clears throat> I guess, always a desire to meet people that you really click with and become best friends with. And sometimes it's so hard to find locally. VR chat, and once you get past the ses- What? You, I think you, you cut, cut out. out. You cut yeah. out. So, uh, you can find some really genuinely cool people. And I think that's what lured me in was just the, the, the idea of being able to pick and choose your friend and uh, meet, meet new people. Hmm. He says that oh. he has left the population of VR chat blocked. <laughs> not quite half that's a goal and that's a goal, goal. <laughs> oh my goodness um, so what other games do you all play besides VR chat mm, before VR chat I didn't play any any games um, I, I, yeah, I used to be a, I used to be a gamer I played a lot of CSGO and like uh, competitive first person shooters but but after getting into VR chat, I I started playing more of the games that I used to play. Like like let's say I played Fortnite a week ago for the first time, and it wasn't and and it wasn't that bad. So that that, that surprised me. <laughs> Tent is gonna now laugh easily, going. But uh, I still yeah, almost I never did. played PUBG, so I don't have a comparison to you. You haven't played PUBG, boy. You, mm. Irma, what, what about you? What other games do you play before I, we end the podcast? I don't play games. For, you might as well just end it now. I've never played <laughs> PUBG, PUBG or Fortnite. Oh, okay. At least I have about an hour of H1Z1 before PUBG came out. Does that count? I actually wanted to play uh, that. I, I hated guess. this game so much because the control, everything was just so sloppy. I'm like, this is horrible. Waste of um, my money. I, to answer your question, I don't play any other games right now. Um, I'm chill, still trying to beat VR chat, and I can't figure out how to, how to win. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying to win the way. game. I used to Looks. play Modern Warfare 2, uh, Halo, a lot of first person shooter games. Then I got into League and stopped playing any first person shooter games. And I played League for like three seasons and uh, just kind of got old. <laughs> to win in VR chat, I figured this out. To win, you need to make the most pixelated character ever. You can get in there, 
and then jump in and see how many people's computer crash. When you're the only one standing, then you win. Okay. <laughs> Mato had a different theory. Uh, Mato, what is your theory on winning VR chat? I don't remember. Oh god, I'll tell him. You uh, remove all your friends from your friends list. You block avatars by default and mute by default. And then you <laughs> then you go around in public worlds, not seeing anyone or hearing anyone. That's but that doesn't habit. work. You need to crash that. You need to crash everybody out of the game, so that way they don't want to come back, and then you win because nobody's there to fight you. Yeah, when you go to when you Google uh, VR chat player base and you see one, and that's you, the <laughs> then you win. <laughs> yes. Oh no! Please let's not do that. Yeah, I hope that doesn't happen. I like the fact that uh, VR chat has been keeping six to seven k for months now. Like, the core members well, are still going to there. This makes me laugh, because now whenever it drops down to one, Matsu's going to be like, where'd everybody go? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, my okay. I hate crashers. With passion. Yeah, so do I. People, what are crashers? I don't understand they, this term. They literally go around crash everyone's game and mm. leave. Okay. Like, my work have, um, here is done, and leave. I, I have to give kudos to one person. He made a huge movie screen. <gasps> he, played, he played Ready Player One trailer. Everyone, oh everyone was watching. We were in our... I think it was very early morning, so the yeah. Russians were up, and the Russians <laughs> were, oh, 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 oh. So they were, watch, <laughs> they were watching the screen, and in the end, after the trailer ended, it said, the end? And it crashed everyone who uh, were looking towards a uh, screen. Wow. <laughs> so if you looked at the screen, it crashed your game at the end? Mm -hmm. That is a really bad said move. The end. That's the last thing you saw. <laughs> that's, that's I have to give cool. this to that person. That's pretty cool. That is, uh, that is, that is a horrible, horrible person right there. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, what? I'm going to get you guys all. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, tennis so, does. It's actually, I didn't mean to take over, but it's really intriguing to me, this whole uh, crasher gang scene that's popped up. These guys actually have their own groups and gangs, and they've got, like, kill-on-site lists where they, they nuke each other's games, crash each other's games, and they're, they're out hunting oh. avatar stealers, and they all have, like, these gangster avatars that play this, like, um, really loud rap music. And it's just so bizarre to me that these nerds are like out there talking trash and threatening people, and it's it's very bizarre. So it's become like a hitman squad, is what you're saying? Yeah, there's there's gangs of hitmen, and they go after each other. It's 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 really interesting. <laughs> so it's like it's like uh, Chicago in in uh, in public worlds. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's been turned into VR Chicago. <laughs> I'm gonna see the Jets and the Hawks just. The, I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally. That's gonna be the title of y'all's, y'all's podcast. We are Chicago. Hey. Hey. Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> um. So have y'all broken anything in VR? Like, have you ever hit anything or smashed anything? I've hit my I, fan I... a few times. Oh. <clears throat> The joys of living in Florida and it being hot out is you have the fan running up above you the whole time. And uh, I'm almost six feet tall, so when I reach up for something, <laughs> it, ends, it ends poorly. <laughs> Matsu, what about you? I saw a clip of him right. going, like, trying to reach up, 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 and he's a fan. He's like, shit! <laughs> Keep my fan again. <laughs> but... <laughs> I think I saw that clip too. <laughs> he was like, ah. <laughs> yeah. But I usually just hit my desk if I reach too far forward. Other than that, I don't really hit stuff. Oh, one time I laughed so hard. I wanted to fall down, but then I hit my head against the wall. <gasps> <laughs> what? What? Yeah, it feels bad. <laughs> So what's what what's here? Nothing. I was just gonna say, how do you do this? 
He said he was sitting on a desk and he fell over. No, no, no. no I head. never, I, no, I never sit. I always stand up when I play. Oh, okay. I, I feel like I'm one of the uh, few people that actually do that. Yeah, he'll stand up for like eight hours straight playing VR oh. chat. It's impressive. Oh man. How do you do it? Uh, well, I mean, again, as other countries say, they're not Americans, so they can do things that we can't. <laughs> that is true. Um, 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 you said that, not me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what are some of the uh, what is the most awkward moment y'all have had in VR chat? PG thirteen, guys, please. Hmm. Yeah, it, yes, sense. I did watch the uh, I did watch the R two D two um moaning <laughs> noises. Oh, uh, what? Um, that's 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 usual. Um, yeah, that's not really awkward anymore. That's, that's a normal day. <laughs> huh. Quite an awkward moment. Um, usually if it's someone, like for me, it's when I block someone and they come on with a different account. And someone's like, oh, oh. yeah, you know, that's them, right? I'm like, ooh! <laughs> Oof. Oof. Yeah. You, you just retreat awkward. back and you're just like, ooh, sorry. I, di- I just blocked that account, too. <laughs> Oh, everything. <laughs> Matthew, what about you? I think one of the most awkward moments. Um, okay, so I, I mentioned that I do the talent shows, and sometimes I have to say that someone is not good enough. So I tried, <laughs> I tried to not put myself in the awkward situation, and I asked Irma, hey, come on, listen to this guy. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's always like, hey, come listen to this guy. And now I have to sit there while they sing a song. And I'm just like, maybe that wasn't your song. <laughs> you have to sing maybe you should try something else. <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should try a song that fits in your vocal range, Britta. <laughs> uh, speaking of that, Drake also has a question. He said, question to Matu, who is the best talent out of the recent talent shows you've hosted in VR chat within the first and second month? Within the first two months. Yeah. Huh. I don't really remember who the people were back then. Oh. Are you, are you asking who's improved the most since the first few months? Within the oh the oh the last few months. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to say DFM Johnny. Really. Yeah, DFM Johnny with uh, with Bronx. That performance that they did together, that was amazing. It was good. Now, both of y'all, do either of you have full body or do y'all just know? No, I just have the Oculus Rift. That's it. Yeah, me neither. Okay. Nothing extra. So that, that, goes, that already marks out that question. Y'all don't dance. <laughs> well, I, did, hey, I, I didn't thought, say that. I thought you were going to go oh. for ERP, but okay. Well, no, oh, no, 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 no ERP. Um, <laughs> RP, by the way. I was, uh, I was thinking of dancing, like because, like, it's very hard to do dancing in with just the headset and controllers. You can wave dance. <laughs> I mean, unless do y'all dance? That, you that, make it you, happen. You make it happen. Really. Actually, the past few talent shows, we've uh, <laughs> gone on stage with some creative avatars <laughs> and danced oh, behind uh, dance behind one of our buddies while he performs. It's kind of turning into a, a meme now, but uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's an interesting uh, interesting experience. If you, okay. okay, if you watched the um, previous broadcast, you probably saw some. Darker skin ladies being used. Look, uh, what? You're, you're asking. You're asking too much of me to go and watch like your eight-hour podcast review <laughs> oh. two hours before we have to do the podcast. No, I think. Oh, I didn't use that one probably. But we have uh, black, black, black lady avatars. <clears throat> uh. Okay. And so you have. They have a lot of geophysics. Oh, and we, okay, okay. And we I went to we dance behind someone singing on stage. I think 
that was the peak of my dance career. Oh my <laughs> god, the peak of your dance career. That was probably mm-hmm. the end of it too. Uh, <laughs> 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 it just start the peak and the end all at once. <laughs> the start the peak and the end. Uh, so um, obviously, Irma, you said that you sing and play guitar. Matu, do you sing at all? <laughs> There's your answer. I want to, I want to take that as a no. <laughs> okay, I, I have to explain my left. The beginning of his of his streams when he when he starts like some intro starting soon scream, it's him singing an atrocious cover of a One Direction song, and it just it's it's absolutely horrendous yet so beautiful. You guys have to listen to that. If if you have to turn his stream off when he's when, when he's done, that's fine. But you have to listen to his intro song. It's absolutely atrociously wonderful. Well, that I was going to ask if we can get a sample of both y'all singing for the podcast. Oh, oh no! Oh, God. Um, <laughs> I don't think you want that, Bruna. Ma- Matu, do, do, would you mind giving us a small example for the podcast? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was good. Irma, do you want to give us an example for the podcast? No. <laughs> do it. No. Do it. Hey, if, you guys, if you guys want to come to the talent show on Saturday, I might get on stage. You're talking to a guy that doesn't have VR. Hey, or hey, a computer that can that. do VR. If you want to watch Matu 20 stream on Saturday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We'll see. I don't like think I want to hear the. I don't think I want to hear yeah. the intro. Oh my! You, <laughs> it's an experience. It's one of those things. Just like I, I, I never really wanted to eat frog legs, but since I'm at a Chinese buffet, I'll, I'll oh. give it a shot. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, that's what it's like. Um. <laughs> so I know we talked about this. Legs. Yeah, I know we talked about this at the um b- during the pre-show, but uh. Where where are y'all? Well, you said Florida because of the meme. Uh, Matu, where are you located at? So that way we have it on the podcast. Yeah, Estonia. I, and um, you're east. I'm going to have to look that place up. Yeah, it's Northern Europe, right south of Finland and east of Sweden. Now, if I go there, can I get a voice like yours? Like, do they just <laughs> have voices? Or am I just going to have to deal with the voice that I have? You have a wonderful voice, Bruno. <laughs> don't, don't, don't lie to me. Do not lie to me. <laughs> I actually met one. I, I met one other guy on VR chat from Estonia, and uh, he didn't sound exactly like Matu, but he had a similar um, smooth, suave style of speaking. I, I don't know what it is. Is it how Matu picks up women in VR chat? Just hello. <laughs> it's it's not his singing. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, so, um, what? Where? Where do y'all normally um, in a little bedroom or uh, office? Whoa, robot techno! Ooh, I like me some robots. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was asking. That. Is this better? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Where do y'all? Oh. <laughs> Oh, he knows what I like. Oh. Sam? Oh my goodness. Is this good? Is this part edited out? Probably. <laughs> hey, so hey. Where, what room do y'all stream from? Do y'all stream from a living room, bedroom, or where do y'all stream from? Um, I play in my own um, room that I have. And currently I'm in my uh, with my parents. Because I'm, I moved back during the summer, and I have to go back to Hungary, where I live alone. Aww. So I live my. You make that sound so depressing. No, Aww. it's just where my voice. I live. That's <laughs> your voice. It's just yeah. my te- my two's calm voice. It lulls us into a false sense of security. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm. I. The I was I was in Hungary actually the last the whole last year when I did my two semesters in my university. 
and okay. I lived with two other people in my apartment. Hmm. And I didn't like the fact that I always kind of knew that they could hear me or they probably could hear me if they wanted to. So that kind of mm. bothered me and I couldn't talk or say words or be as loud as I wanted to. So now when I'm moving back next week, I, I rented an apartment where I'll be alone so I can always say all these not PG-13 words and not worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I just butt in to answer that question and then follow up with uh, something I, I I I play in my my office. Uh, oh. It's a, it's that another work. bedroom in my place. No 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 no. It's my office. In my house. <laughs> it's just another bedroom, but I've turned it into an office because I live alone. Or should oh, I say, like, wow, well, I live alone. Uh, but I did I didn't honestly know. So some people in the mind I know this. You guys definitely don't. But Mato used to not speak. I think when I first met him, he was a he was a complete mute, and I, I think he like I don't even remember how he somehow convinced me into this talent show, but for oh, a long no. time he he didn't speak at all. So and I just kind of connected He's those old. dots to the fact that he was living with roommates in an apartment. That's why, just connected those dots. Oh. Really, you just like <laughs> this guy doesn't talk. I wonder why. Okay, so yeah. I, I started playing in the US time zone. So right now, it's 2 a.m. and I just woke up. This is my morning right now. Oh, this, is just, goodness. this is my morning. So I, 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 I adopted the US time zone lifestyle in, in the EU. That works out wonderfully because we have, a, we have a heat wave right now. So I get to sleep during the day and miss the heat wave. Ah. Wake up during the night when it's colder. So <laughs> it's... Good idea. It's it's all working out fine. But yeah, so I played just because you switched switch time schedules, it makes you feel so much better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so, much, uh, so much better than all the Europeans. I have to be oh, <laughs> in the morning. Did y'all start doing um, VR chat with the VR headset, or did y'all do it with the, in a desktop mode? Go ahead, I, buddy. Sell me out. I, oh. Irma, he played um, <laughs> he played VR chat for like four months before getting a headset. Whoa! I don't know yeah. why it was it was never about the money. I don't know why he didn't buy it first, but he just never did. He, I, I guess, I guess he, it's the music musician in him. He always had his guitar on his lap and played always played the guitar when he was playing. Oh. So maybe that's why. Okay. But but for me. I installed VR chat after I got my Rift because I didn't want to spoil the experience. You wanted to just try it with the headset. Yeah, I was, I was, I was so convinced watching Poke and, like they said, Poke, True Noom, Nags, people like that. I was so convinced that I would enjoy this game. So I just bought the Rift and then played the game. Okay, so um, for. Do y'all have any social media links and stuff that y'all want to give out so that way people know where to follow you, like your Twitch and stuff? Now, I say this, I would also like y'all to say it out loud so that way people that are listening to the podcast can hear what it is instead of them having to like go and find the link and dig it up someplace. I am Matul20. That's, that's, that's the only thing I use on Twitch. <laughs> And no Twitter, yeah, no follow. nothing. No, that's that's for my personal things. I know, I don't have like a gaming or Twitch or streaming area. Hey, that's from that YouTube anything. channel too. Oh yeah, my this is where I my YouTube is Trapix Gaming. That's a fun Trapix name. Gaming. <laughs> yeah, like I could write it in chat. Yeah, like um, that. Apix this, Gaming. Yeah, this. Oh, like it's Trap, trap. IX Gaming. <laughs> I love traps, you can tell. But... Oh my. <laughs> Podcast over, we're done. <laughs> but this is where I upload all the talent show recaps that, that we do every single week. Oh, so um, you kind of do like America's Got Talent, but in VR chat. 
Sort of. Yeah, we, sort we don't of. we don't really do eliminations or or judging or anything like that. You need to just be like, you suck off the stage next. <laughs> we tried that. People got pissed. Yeah. Oh goodness. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, what type of music do you enjoy? Go ahead, buddy. Oh, uh, chief. It's a it's a hard question to answer. I just I like a lot of music. I'm not I'm not too picky. My favorite is definitely electronic. I can listen to like any EDM house, uh, G house, that kind of stuff. It's not like my favorite, but I can listen to anything. Hmm. I do. Except for like uh, country, please no country. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Wow. What about you, Matthew? Wow, <laughs> wow. that's he all only you say. The country. Uh, you, oh, you can tell by my voice that I love me some sad boy music. <laughs> oh, <laughs> some sad boy music. I uh, yeah, I, I think I we just really just... enjoy the melodies or the melody of. Uh, the usual sad boy music. So I, I recently started playing the guitar as, guitar myself, and that's most of so the we, songs that I that I love to play. Are the sad. So songs. okay, so you like country, and you play guitar because of the sad songs. But as as Irma has told us, you really can't sing. But Irma plays guitar and can sing, but doesn't like country. Yeah, you guys are like complete opposites. <laughs> yeah, opposites attract. That's what they say. It's as long as your friendship stays together, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> good friends are hard to come by. Mm-hmm. I'll agree with that. Um, let's see here. Got that bro bond. What? Bromance. Bromance. <laughs> um... What is your normal setup routine for whenever you're about to stream? What do y'all? What is like y'all's normal thing that y'all go through? Mm. Usually, I always restart before I start my stream, just because I know that the Rift software can fuck up oh, very often. So I just <laughs> restart before everything, just to make sure, and. Then I just start my OBS, then put on the starting thing where you can hear me sing for like 10 minutes. And that's a wonderful <laughs> experience. And that's the, that's, the, that's the part where I usually go in game, find people that I'm going to hang around with for the rest of the day. And huh. okay. yeah, when I go back to my actual game stream, then I'm usually with someone already doing something. So that's mm -hmm. what I usually do. And then I just okay. leave it on for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> I know you weren't asking me because I don't stream, but I usually have his chat on my hand with uh, open VR chat. So oh, really? What do you open do to Twitch get, chat. get set up? What do you do? What do you do to get set up for whenever he starts streaming? Uh okay, you, you drink some alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, Drink and then be done. Not really much. <laughs> it used to be for me that every time that I was on, I was streaming, because that was that was when I really didn't care about the streaming aspect of it. I just wanted to record everything. So mm -hmm. any any time I was playing, I was streaming. There was no schedule. There was nothing. Just when I was on, the stream was on. And as long as I was having fun, then the stream got going. Huh. Okay. But, but, but now, recently, I've been limiting the time that I'm streaming because if I'm getting bored, I don't feel like people watching want to get bored with me. So I just end the stream and be bored by myself. We, we have missed some good moments, though. Those are hard to predict. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's actually... Um, um, one of the cool things about Matu and his his stream is that it's all it's all organic. It, not, nothing's planned. We don't have any scripts or any crap like that. It's it's all us just genuinely hanging out, and the chat almost just feels like you know a a, a friend along with us for our adventure. So it's um it's uh it's always fun. It's, it's there's not much prep that goes into anything like that. We 
Um, we <laughs> sometimes forget we're streaming or he's streaming and the chat's even there and we are just off laughing our butts off and having a blast. So that that's um, that's what's uh, really fun about Matu's stream is it's just him. It's just him being himself and that's why I can hang, hang out with him too. So a lot of streamers change who they are when the uh, the streams are running, but uh, Matu doesn't. That's good. <laughs> that's. Cool. I mean, I I don't know if you're ever gonna get partnership because of that video, uh, the the uh, the R two D two footage, but uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's 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 gonna get me there. Stuff like that. That's gonna that's... Whoop, skyrocket me. <laughs> uh, so RGD okay. Morning, got it. <laughs> Who is who is your favorite streamer to watch whenever you're not streaming? Um, for me, it's uh, probably is Zephroin. He does music. Oh. I met I met him through um, the talent show because, again, I I seek out people who sing. They're talented, and I know that he streams as well. And every time that I'm not streaming, and I saw he he's on. I just open the stream and just leave it because I just want to listen to him sing. Okay. Ooh, that's uh, cool. The thing is that with, um, with VR chat streamers, I'm not really into RP. Because I like, mm-hmm. uh, like I said, I don't do any RP. I don't do any prep. I just go with whatever you the just game you. brings to me. Yeah. So that's what I enjoy also in game. And also on streams that I watch. So watching him, he doesn't play VR chat anymore that much. He used to just go on desktop, find people, sing to them, and then move on and then sing to another people. But so he's like the the traveling musician mu- musician on New York Street and stuff and like that. Yeah, <laughs> you could say that. But he's Asian and he plays country and oh. reggae. It's- <laughs> Oh, hold on. So you just have to throw the race out there and be like, but he sings country. He sings country. Yeah. And reggae. Does. And reggae. Okay. I like now, what are some of someone else's stream right now? I know. <laughs> this is about you and not somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the best moments you've had while 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 playing VR chat? Uh who? <laughs> right. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like a second life, and that's yeah. That is that so is you... tough. I I just I, there's so many times where I've had to take my headset off because I was laughing so hard I was crying, and it's just like water streaming down on my headset, and I have uh, those are always my favorite moments. Oh my or when, when I can make someone laugh to the point where they're crying, um, those are. <laughs> I, that's kind of, I guess, what I live for is making people laugh and making people smile and, and be happy. So, but that's like probably for me my favorite thing, favorite memories from VR chat is certain jokes I've made or clips or whatever that have made people genuinely just die from laughing. Okay. Mm-hmm. What about you, Matu? Like he said, it's. Uh... It's mostly about the laughs that you get. And for me, I I started streaming just because of that, for the clips, and to capture those funny moments. And I recently went through, I looked, like, I grazed over all the clips, and I watched one of the funs that popped up. And, and going back now, like I mentioned, like, when I hit my head, that was when me and Derma, we were laughing so hard that I had to that I had to get on the ground. So I just hit my head against the wall when I was going down. And oh, I kept laughing and laughing and laughing. And I think those are one of the best moments where I just where I just lose it. I just I just <laughs> laugh. And I've had my my mom walk into the room and can Psst. don't laugh so much. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I guess those are one of the best moments just for just having a great time. Because okay. I know a lot of people like to, they don't like to, but they get involved in drama in VR. I don't know why it happens. Uh, yeah. But I try to avoid drama as much as possible. 
people say they do, but they still seek out like, hey, maybe I can do this and that and just cause a little bit of drama. But hmm. I don't like doing that at all. It's just, it's just all about the laughs and whatever makes me happy. Okay. So how would you explain VR chat to somebody that doesn't like how would you explain it to your family? Or um Irma, how would you explain it to somebody at work? How would you explain VR chat to somebody that doesn't know what it is? That'd be like that'd be like coming out of the closet. Tell them about my uh <laughs> my VR chat boyfriend from Estonia. No, um that's a good question. <laughs> Honestly, I don't consider it a game. I don't I don't really consider it a video game in the sense that there's a game to play. It's it's a virtual hangout, and it's just me hanging out with people. Um, I think a lot of people in the game have anxiety, and this is just such a cool way to to be able to interact with people. You could be sitting at home in your underwear, but you know, in the game, nobody has to know that, and you're you're just you know. Yeah, you're a cute lady in game. <laughs> <laughs> in the game, you're just a smoking hot trap. No, uh, yeah, it's it's it brings down all that those social um bar holds and, and the the anxiety and then you get to just have like genuine conversations with people um yeah so yeah that's kind of what it means to me and, and that's probably what i tell other people it's not it's not a game it's not like living in some big virtual world for me it's just a hangout just like you know aol instant messenger group chats back in the day where you're just chatting with people that's kind of oh my goodness for me. I remember those. <laughs> you're bringing oh up history goodness. Yeah, you're 25. You remember? <laughs> yeah, just let yeah, those right. things die, please. <laughs> no, don't well, let they them did. die. Anyone remember Skype? I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, Skype was so, awful. What tips would y'all give to somebody that's just starting streaming and wants to get up there to where you're at with the 600 followers? 600 in uh, Twitch terms is nothing. I mean, like, if you really want to get out there, yeah. If you, if you really want to get out there and, like, have a big follower base or big viewer base, you need trauma. That's what I found out. In VR chat, you need trauma or RP. That, that's, that's what people grave. And stuff that I do will never take off. Like, it will never be popular with a uh, with huge crowd. Because when you go to a stealth RGs or anyone else's stream, they get pissed off when he doesn't, when the people that are used to doing RP, they don't, they just want to hang around with other people. They get pissed off. It's like, they, wanna, they want someone to call dad or mom or uncle in the that, that's, that's what people want. <laughs> and I'm just so not the saying... person to do that, so. You're saying that people watch VR chat just for the drama that happens in the background and all the fake stuff that happens? I I think so. People watch the YouTube clips because mm -hmm. of the funny moments, but they watch Twitch for the RP. Okay. And I feel like that's why the Twitch scene has died quicker than the YouTube scene. The YouTube scene is still strong. But you can't. But you, you just can't. Funny clips. Yeah. yeah, and you just can't uh, produce like quality RP in doing doing it live that that well. You need someone to edit it down uh, instead of like two hour long VR stream. You'll have mm -hmm. a twenty minute video on YouTube that people would rather watch. So that's that's why VR chat on YouTube is doing so well. But on Twitch, it's it's hit or miss. It used to mm. it used to be a lot bigger than it is now. Okay. Um, you'll have we're coming down to the last six minutes of the of the podcast. Do you have anything you want to say to the people that are listening to this now or listening to it later? What I would want to say is go log into it and just just have fun. Don't crash people. Don't do that. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's just ruins yeah. the fun for everyone. But yeah, just what? just have fun. Don't be a dick to anyone, and just try to have a good time. That's that's what I do every day when I log on. And I wish more people had that mindset. Yeah. What about you, Irma? 
Uh, follow me on Twitch at Matu20. Uh, <laughs> wow, wow. Chicken? Chicken? It was sort of a joke, but not really. I don't stream, and uh, his chat's on my hand all the time. So I talk to his chat, you know, through his screen, and it's uh, it's a good time. Uh, we're adult oriented, to say the least. Lude, <laughs> lude is a good description. Yeah, sometimes people in my chat just come into the chat to bully him. <laughs> Say, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> one of our one of our favorite reactions from his chat is usually people joining and saying, "What did I just walk into?" Like <laughs> they just stumble into some really <laughs> absurd some moment. Weird stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, oh, you guys goes know, too far. <laughs> if anyone's free on if anyone's free Saturday night, uh, eight p.m. Eastern time, our talent show on Saturday night is is outstanding. The quality of performances, it's people who should have record deals. They're outstanding. So, so to, if you, if you can't be there, we can, we can only fit 80 people. I think that's actually a server limit. And yes, we've reached that recently. Yeah, last uh, week we hit 80 people in the, in the world. <laughs> Holy moly. For, for people couldn't join. Yeah, it was insane. Um, but if you can't join, or your computer's a potato, or for what, you know, whatever reason, watch, watch the streams. There's probably usually four or five streamers there at a minimum. Uh, streaming the show it's it's we put a lot of effort into it we have our own map and we have lineups we record it so all the performances go on youtube after it's we put a lot of work into it and uh i i really want everyone to appreciate it as much as we do so definitely come check that out if you guys are interested at all so if you want to see all the hidden talent in vr chat go go subscribe or go follow ma220 go there see all the talent that's in vr chat see all the people that you don't get to see normally because i'm pretty sure as you said matsu goes out and finds these people he stalks them for like a month and then just be like in my van and then drive <laughs> just up to them. I'm, i need to go to jail for yeah, some I, of the stuff yeah. i say i peek around the corner and like psst, hey, psst, psst, come here come here i have a I question for you come on Hey, can you say for me? You guys, you guys sure know how to end a podcast. Wow. Uh, okay. So <laughs> <laughs> we're coming down to the last three minutes. So guys, thank you so much for taking the time and coming and joining us today. Um, it's been a very interesting podcast. Uh, we got a man with a very deep and relaxing voice compared to Aww, another guy that's you. just <laughs> another guy that has a very good sense of humor. Um, so thank you guys so much for coming. It was a it was a fantastic time. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for letting me on uh, the show. I don't know why I agreed to that, but okay. Uh, <laughs> um, he was close so, to it. <laughs> for from uh, from the podcast crew and everyone here, for those that are listening later and listening now, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. And this is be behind the streams. <laughs>